Hello everyone, welcome back to another picking an order on BrickLink video. Um, today should be pretty fun. Um, unfortunately, we only have one order to go through today, um, and that order is from Tony Fernandez, who said, if you would like to pack this order, please do on camera or something along those lines. Thank you, Tony, for one, watching the channel, and for two, you know, purchasing from our BrickLink store. I really appreciate it. First thing, if any of you guys are watching and you want to order on our store, the link is in the description, and as always, if you leave a comment in the uh, message section on BrickLink when you're placing the order uh, and ask us to pack it in a video, we will gladly pack it in a video and put it on the channel here. The reason I want to do this video today, even though I only have one order to pack, is because our workflow has slightly changed. We are no longer um, bagging items individually, or bagging lots individually, and because we have this wall here, and because I can't be you know, in the aisleway and look back to the TV over there, um, our workflow changed a little bit in terms of the direction we're going over here. I also cut my finger. Um, so I just kind of want to show that. So uh, here's your order, Tony. So this is our new little shipping station here, and you can see not a ton has changed, obviously, except I now use the trays for actually, uh, for, for picking orders. I now have a laptop here where I can, uh, you know, see the order. And then we also have these bins up here. So let me explain the bins first. That's because it, when we get like five or six or seven orders in a day, it's much easier to like, you know, I'll package everything, I'll put it in this bin, and this is an order. And then I'll send it off over to the shipping station over there. And then, you know, I can package another one, put it in here, and then send it off to the shipping station. And then I get to the shipping station, everything's all separated. And I can, you know, easily print the labels and everything without having to walk from here, over there, and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth so many times. So the decision was, you know, we'd get a few more extra bins. Um, these are the same exact bins we use on the shelf over there. We got more down there behind the trash can lid um, for when we run out. But, you know, these are really nice. Now we just toss everything in there and we know we can go over to the shipping station. It makes the workflow a little bit easier. And um, then obviously the laptop, once we put up this wall here, uh, we uh, kind of can't see the screen. Or you can, but like, let's say you walk down here, you're going to go to drawer, you know, 2014, you're going to pull out six of those pieces. What are you going to do now? Walk, you know, over here, you could bag it, you know, I guess, and then you can kind of turn and try to see and try to read the screen. So it was a little bit of a harder to do. So for a few orders, what we did was we printed them out and we had papers, but obviously that's not super environmentally friendly. So now we're just, we have a laptop here for now. What I'm debating about is getting a little cart and putting the cart in here. It's gotta be a small cart, obviously, maybe like 18 inches wide. Um, and preferably it would have the four, all four wheels swivel. So it can kind of go wherever, you know, we need it to go. Um, and then from there, you know, we can kind of continuously go down the aisle and then maybe get a small iPad or just use a tablet of some sort and have that on the cart and we can just scroll through that. Um, that would probably be the absolute, absolute best workflow to, to have, which is the goal. Um, and then, like I said, kind of not environmentally friendly to print those out. We've kind of changed the amount of bags we use. So that's why we use these trays here. I kind of, uh, bag everything by color family now. So like for this order, for example, there's, you know, not necessarily things I can bag together or, I mean, I can, but like not necessarily things that it's not a great example of an order, um, in terms of color bagging, but I'll bag like, uh, well, let's just start picking this real quick. Let's go to B29, get one Hades. I would start bagging like the green pieces with, you know, the dark green pieces with maybe, uh, I don't know, dark blue or something. And then I might put the light gray with the white. Um, so I would just uh, kind of, you know, do different things like that. Um, that's what I've been doing the past few orders. And we're using a significant amount less bags than we were before. But I know also a lot of people were giving uh, their feedback in the... Um, in the comments and a lot of people said, not a lot of people, but some people said, you know, I appreciate it when it's bagged together. Other people said, I appreciate it when, um, you know, everything is in its individual bag. So I think what we're gonna do and change this on our terms page is um, adjust it so that you can essentially pick whether you want your order to be bagged all together in the different bags, um, or sorry, all separate in different bags or if you want to, you know, have all of your uh, um, lots bagged in one bag, essentially, or split up by color or something along those lines. Um, we won't give like a ton of options, we'll give two. Either they're all together or they're all separate. Um, sorry, I'm trying to count and talk and it's very, very difficult. 30 of those. Um, oops. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the plan for the thing. And what I'm thinking is, you know, have the eco-friendly one be the default um, there should be six of those there. The eco-friendly would be the default option. And then after that, maybe there's like a 25 cent fee if you want every lot bagged individually or something. Um, it actually would help us, you know, offset the cost of some of these bags. 
Plus, it would it would motivate people to not have everything bagged, um, you know, in separate lots. But it, but we still have that option if you do request it, because there were definitely some buyers who said, you know, I would like everything bagged separately. 1180, 20 of these. So that's kind of our idea with the bags, and I appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who has, uh, you know, spoken or, or commented about, uh, you know, your ideas as to where we should be going with the bags and how many bags we should use and other options. A lot of people mentioned the heat sink option, or not the heat sink, the uh, heat... What's that thing called again? I don't know. It, like, melts. Uh, you can use the heat... The poly... Uh, what are they called? They're, like, heat tubing, essentially. And then with the heat tubing, you have this little press. And essentially, like, if this was the... Uh, let's say this bag is the tube. You put all your stuff in the tube and the, both ends are open. You put it into this little press and you press it down and it melts it together. Um, the only thing is the time. The amount of time that that would take to package everything like that is a lot more time. Um, and personally... Whatever. Um, personally, I would not be a fan of receiving a package that is heat shrinked or heat shrunk together like that. I guess, and having to cut each individual thing open because it's like scissors or something. Personally, that would not be uh, how I would like it. Um, not that I'm going to complain if someone does that. You know, that's how they sell. But uh, I think everyone kind of has their own opinion. So I think the the bags work. We'll just limit and minimize the bags or the amount of bags that we're, uh, we're trying to use. Okay, hopefully there's... How many of these are supposed to be? 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Perfect. So, there we go. So this is the whole order here, uh, minus Hades, but he's already bagged, so... I, I do still bag the minifigs individually, and that's so that they don't get scratched against other pieces, um, especially because we sell all our minifigs new, in new condition, so I don't want to... Uh, you know, have have five minifigs in a bag and they get scratched up and then they don't look new anymore. So let me grab my little tripod thing and then I'll show you how I'm going to bag this order. Um, but it'll be a little bit different than bagging them in four different bags. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this order is I've decided I'm going to put all of the leaves in one bag. I am going to pop these apart because they're a lot larger for shipping. Um, actually, this at one point I'm sure this drawer must have been full um, because of the... Uh, them being stuck together, but I don't want to bend them or anything. It's hard to do this with one finger missing as well, or, uh, you know, injured. I think I cut it on aluminum foil, but I'm not sure. It's just one of those where all of a sudden you're bleeding, and you got to figure out what happened. Um, and then you just bandage it up. And it's also really bad because it keeps, like, a, you know, as I, if I squeeze something in the wrong way, like, the it'll kind of open up again, the wound. But, uh, sorry, that might be too much information you don't want to know. But everybody, anyway, there we go. Uh, this probably could actually fit in this bag. Um, I'll leave it in the large bag just so it has room to move during shipping. And then uh, I will put these two grays together. So as you can see, I put the leaves together, and then I'll put these grays together. So it's still separated in a way, um, but it's not necessarily separated by, you know, each individual um, lot. Uh, because in this case, it would be five bags um, for a five-lot order, 69 pieces, which... Maybe isn't too bad, um, especially because it wasn't like you were ordering one of each piece. You had, you know, a good amount of each piece. Um, so, for example, now I would put these in here. And if I had another order, this I would set aside. And now I'm ready for my next order. I pack it, I put it in there, and then uh, we just go ship it. Um, but, yeah, like I said, just three bags now for this order of five different lots. And it's still not hard for the person to sort, um, you know, once they... Uh, once they get through the, uh, once they open the package and stuff. So I think for this, I'm going to choose a, should I choose a small box? I'll choose a small box. So in this case, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to weigh it. And I'm going to weigh it with that. Now on BrickLink, if I go to the order page and I scroll down to the bottom without the address, you can see right here, it says it should be about 2.24 ounces. Um, but if I go here, you know, that's 0.23. If you multiply that 0.23 times 16, because that is how figure out how many ounces it is, at least on this scale, for the way we use it, that is 3.68 ounces. So when I go to PayPal, what I'll do is I'll create the label, I will round it up to four ounces. I kind of knew that this was already going to be four ounces, or about four ounces, just because I've done this enough. And then I'll click the confirm and pay button, you'll actually have to click calculate shipping uh, first, and then it'll tell you it's going to cost this much for shipping. Then you click the confirm and pay button, and we got an error. That is fantastic. Let's try that again. Scroll down, we'll make sure we have our stuff set. Four ounces, click to calculate shipping cost. Alrighty, PayPal's not doing well, we gotta re-log in. Um, awesome. 
sometimes PayPal is, is funky. Um, all right, so what we're going to do here, I guess I can show you guys what we do at least. We will actually click this priority mail thing. We're going to select up here the first class mail. And you get into this by clicking the ship option once you click on your buyer, which obviously I had to blur him out now. But uh, So this is the option we use as a first class mail parcel service, two to five days. In this case, it is not a large package. It is a package though, um, but it's relatively small. And we're going to go with four ounces um, because it was 3.68, but we'll round it up. Once you click that calculate shipping cost, it'll take into account all the things it needs to figure out. And then right here, it'll give you that kind of uh, quote, I guess. And then once you click this confirm and pay option, then it'll go to this next screen here, hopefully. Awesome. And then what we do is we copy down here this uh, tracking number. And this is the tracking number for the item. And what I'll do is I'll paste this into the tracking field on BrickLink so the buyer can at least see it. Then I'll click print. I don't want to show the whole thing. Oh no, so much address. And I'll print it out. And then it'll actually print out down here on our label printer where I can then just rip it off and now I can easily put this on the box. So that's kind of our shipping process. What I'm gonna do now is box this up um, and then I'll put a bubble in there. Give me one second. All right, so it's all packaged up here and I just realized I actually forgot this guy. Um, so it's a good thing, oops, I made it four ounces because now it probably is about four ounces. I'm gonna put him in there. We will grab our little thank you card. We're gonna put that in there as well. And then I have a bubble and we'll stick a bubble in there. I probably don't need a box for this order, but uh, too late, I already built the box. And now I can actually, what happened here? That's interesting, cool. Um, we can actually fold the box and uh, tape it and then put the label on. And then we will go to the post office after I rip off this ugly little piece here. Um, cool, so that's pretty much it. That's the packing and order video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Hopefully we came to a happy medium here of figuring out, you know, how to not use so many bags. And then obviously we're not printing out the paper at the moment, um, which is good because, you know, this is much more environmentally friendly. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button. We uh, are so close to 800. We might be at 800 by the time this video posts. I'm not sure, but I mean, the past few weeks have just been crazy in growth. So yeah, once again, thank you guys. I appreciate you all watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions for Brickside Chat coming out this Sunday, go ahead and ask those in the comments below and uh, we will see you in the next video.